Hey guys, so in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to do the Valorant intro like this one. Okay, so from the video, we can see that there are a lot of different parts. So there's the entrance of the layers, then the logo comes up, followed by the text and some lines and some borders. So for this tutorial, I, I'll be focusing on the logo, so this one, and the text. So you can comment down below if you want to see how I did the, uh, the bars like this and the uh, lines uh, in the composition, okay? So let's get started. Let's go to After Effects and create a new composition. So Control N, let's name this Valorant. So I, I chose 1920 uh, by 1080. So let's put it at 10 seconds, 30 frames per second. Okay. So basically, uh, you want to get the colors of the game first. So I'll be uh, writing down below the codes for the colors. So I'll be uh, getting the colors from a file uh, for to make it easier. So this put it down here okay so you're just gonna make first uh, a, a layer you can make it a, a background so let's just copy the color the reddish color okay so the first thing that we're gonna do is the logo so uh, you're gonna uh, place the logo at the center so you can do this by using the align window like that and resize the uh, layer so if you're happy or for example I'm happy with that you're gonna make a new solid so control Y uh, and just copy the color okay then uh, hide it for now by clicking this one so hide it and then the first step of making uh, the animation is to mask uh, the logo in your layer so click on the pen tool or letter G then just uh, uh, mask it out like this okay so masking it out you can, you can hold the shift button to make it uh, straight or linear so click it here so it's important that you make uh, uh, so it, it's important that the number of points on one side is equal to the points on the other side because uh, it, it's it will help in the animation later on okay so for example uh, there so I have one two three at the right so one uh, two three okay so that's good maybe I'll add another one here and I'll show you why later on so basically uh, we have a cut out of the logo so if we solo that in the background that's what it looks like okay so for the animation we're gonna utilize the mask path okay so we're gonna put a keyframe we're gonna set a keyframe here then we can go back five frames so page up one two three four five and then we're gonna select the uh, the points at the left side so we're gonna select this this uh, hold shift so that all of it will be selected then and this one. then we're gonna stretch it out like so so uh, you get to decide if you if you want it to start from here but I'll just start from let's say here okay then we go back uh, five more frames so one two three four five let me uh, shorten this there then we're gonna get the points from the right side so hold shift and just click like that and drag it to the left okay so this one is just from the uh, the example that I use so let's turn it off for now so continue dragging it so I'll just click it again 
until you reach uh, until the points coincide like so so you're gonna individualize uh, this so you click on this then you put it on in its counterpart over its counterpart point and this one and this one there so if, uh, if you're gonna look at it you're gonna see uh, a line if it's not that perfect but that's okay because you can cut this uh, alt uh, bracket left bracket and if you move up uh, a frame up it's not there anymore but when you move like this uh, it looks good there okay so basically that's how the different uh, animations will work you're just stretching out the layers uh, via the masks okay using the mask paths so how can we improve this so we're just gonna uh, select all the keyframes uh, hit F9 and then click on the graph editor and then when you see this M looking shape you're just gonna click these two points and drag it to the left there so that it uh, the transition is smoother so it goes from that then there okay so basically that's uh, how the animation works so the next thing that you're gonna do is uh, do the same thing for the right part of the logo so again this works for any logo you just have to uh, create the appropriate points in the mask okay so let's move on to the um, the text so as you can see uh, the text is just like this effect it is effect with uh, stretching the mask layers so uh, I will just say that you can duplicate this layer and change the color to like aqua like that and then you open up the keyframes letter U and then you slide the the, the layer that's colored black or gray uh, by five keyframes so what it looks like is that uh, let me turn this off for a moment the aqua one uh, shows up first then the black one shows up second there just like this one okay see the aqua then the black one so basically that's the effect you're just duplicating the layers so that it looks like uh, one will go first followed by the other one so in order to save time in rendering you can uh, at this point the animation of the aqua is uh, basically done and it will be covered by the black one so you can cut it here so alt right bracket there okay so that's basically the effect for the logo so for the text so let me uh, turn this off for a while so you're gonna first uh, type in the word that you want to create so for example I'll do my name so it's Kel uh, let me increase the size then go to the align window and place it in the middle or wherever you want so this text layer will just serve as a guide for creating the uh, masks okay so how do we do this there so this is a very tedious process but I think it's uh, worth the time and effort because it looks good so uh, you're what you're gonna do is create a, a solid so let's make it uh, the same color and then uh, turn it off for a while then you're gonna create masks again uh, this effect is all about this effect is all about masks so using the, uh, ma the rectangle tool or Q you can just trace uh, uh, the the text layer but but the layer that you're gonna select is the solid you're just gonna use the text as a guide okay so you can double click this and drag it there so that it uh, fits the uh, the text well okay so I think I'm happy with that so if we uh, turn this layer on Okay, and uh, turn the text layer off we're gonna see that we created a rectangle so that's the 
uh, final uh, appearance that we want. So we can set a keyframe there. So at mask path, you can set a, set a keyframe. Then uh, go back five frames. One, two, three, four, five. Then you want to stretch this layer. You can do it. Uh, your imagination is the limit when it comes to this effect. So for example, you just want to stretch it downward like this. Okay. Okay. Then the first uh, keyframe of the mask, so one, two, three, four, five, five keyframes back, uh, the mask should be, or the layer should be uh, gone. Of course, it's uh, only beginning. So what we can do is align this so that the points overlap again like that. Okay. So don't worry if the overlap is not perfect since you can just cut this, but make it uh, as close as possible. So when you see the effect, uh, the mask extends like that, and then the uh, the back part of the mask follows, okay? Like a line, like a like a snake. You know the game, like that. So again, we can just uh, improve this by selecting all the keyframes, uh, pressing F9, easy ease. Then, using the graph editor, push this to the left. Drag this to the left. There. So, we see that. It extends, then it shortens. So, you can do now. So, what you can do now is duplicate this layer, then uh, change the color of this solid. So, you go to the settings, then make it the aqua color in Valorant. So, I'll just again be placing in the uh, description the codes for the colors okay that I used so if you want to follow that so press F uh, press U then move the the dark layer so remember that the solid or the layer that is uh, colored gray should be moved forward okay since the aqua should be the one shown first so it goes like this then it goes like that Okay. Then again, you can cut this right here because you don't see the aqua right uh, uh, aqua anymore after this. Okay, so basically, you just repeat this process for all of the parts of the letter. So, for example, you want to open up the uh, you want to turn on the text layer again. Then you're gonna do the other parts of the. Uh, of the word that you want to create. Okay guys, so that's basically the end of the tutorial So you're just gonna repeat all of the steps for the different parts of the letters like so so you have the uh, Freedom to choose the extent of the effect that you want to do you can create straight lines you can do uh, Rotations, it's completely up to you, but the concept uh, of the effect or the principle of the effect is the same for all so if you have any questions or uh, comments, feel free to comment down below and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.